Podium XRT, or simply XRT, employs a ray tracing method called path tracing, which is the most physically accurate method of 3D rendering. Typically path tracing applications are computationally intense and therefore slow. But with the use of the Intel denoiser, XRT's path tracer is very fast. Podium XRT is a CPU based application that works on Windows and any Mac, Apple Silicon or Intel. The ray tracing engine is based on Intel's Osprey path tracer. Like SU Podium, XRT is for SketchUp. You do need SketchUp 2022 or 2023. Although it can be used alone, Podium XRT is an excellent and inexpensive companion product to SU Podium as well as Podium Browser. Let's take a look at some features and applications. In this video, I will examine opening Podium XRT, moving around the rendered scene, synchronize with the SketchUp camera or SketchUp scenes, render settings, light settings, and background settings. We will look at soft light shadows, as well as depth of field images, and touch on panorama, at least the user interface. Let's open this modified interior design, originally mo modeled by Nat Alice for SU Podium. XRT supports all SU Podium and Podium Browser material properties, so this model already has a number of materials with reflections and bump maps, as well as light fixtures from Podium Browser. So you can see these different light fixtures um, and materials. Um, to start XRT, just click on the icon, Podium XRT icon, and just like Podium, the materials and properties or materials and surfaces are exported from SketchUp to the render engine. I'm going to click this button here on the right to make the rendered scene on top of SketchUp always. And you see the model gets clearer and clearer as the sample rate increases. Right now I have the sample rate set to 20. Path tracing uses samples samples every pixel, so the greater the sample rate, the longer the computation. Now the great thing about um, Podium XRT is you can move around the rendered scene practically in real time, so you can rotate things. And the camera can be synchronized with the SketchUp camera, so the XRT camera can be synchronized with the SketchUp camera. So if I click Scene 1, and click synchronize, I'm gonna get the scene one camera in the rendered scene. So we'll try that again with scene two, click scene two, synchronize it, and there it is. There's the camera view is the same as scene two. Let's try scene three from SketchUp and synchronize it. And there we have the view outside the window. And we'll go back to scene one. Now, after we do this, let's take a look at the render settings. Now the most important feature is the sample rates. And this is where path tracing samples every pixel at the rate that you want. So the higher the sampling rate, the higher the quality of the final image. However, due to the excellent denoise, you can often have a sample rate lower than 30, 20. I'm going to change it to 15 to speed things up. Speed the, this demonstration up a little bit. And... Next, let's take a look at the light settings. So we've got physical light, which is the sun and sky. And we can increase that. Sometimes in the interior, you want to increase the physical lighting so you can get more sunlight into the scene, like I've just done. 
And the same is true, let's lower that back down to one. We could increase the artificial lights, which is the point lights and spotlights that come from Podium or Podium Browser. And that also increased the lighting, uh, at least the artificial lighting. We also have some tone map features. I reset everything here. The gamma would be a gamma correction. It's kind of like changing the light levels. It's a very fast way to illuminate the scene. And once you're happy with the sliders, the light intensity uh, sliders, you can save them in a, your own preset. I just lower the gamma a little bit. And I'm going to save this in my preset called Interior 1. And I can use this again in this model or in other models. And what I'm going to do next, as you see the rendering clearer, getting clearer and clearer, I'm going to go to Scene 3 and synchronize that with XRT. And this brings up the background settings. We have Simulation, which is based on the Silver Lining Library. So it's very, light, very much like Podium. And we have HDRI. And we have a list of default that come with the program, but you can get many, many more from Podium Browser or other sources. So I'm going to pick Sunset 2 and sort of locate where I want the sun from the IBA, IBL lighting. And I'm going to go back to Scene 1 just to see what the overall effect in this room is going to be. Okay, and then I'm going to in increase the physical light, so that's increasing the IBL lighting slightly. I want to get a little more pink from the sunset into the room. And then I can save uh, a different preset called Interior HDRI or whatever you want to call it. And then I can use that again. Now when we're ready to save the file, we click the camera and that will actually create a file and you'd be asked the resolution size of the image, what file format you want to use. Click that and you'll be asked where do you want to save it and the name of the file. Now when you do that, uh, the scene is rendered again. So you might have to go to the 15, 20, or 30 samples to get the final image. I'm just going to cancel this. There's one other way that's a quick way to save the image, the rendered image. And I wait until you, you're happy with the uh, sample rate and click on the screen capture and you can save it PNG or JPEG and then save it wherever you want to. And that's a really fast way. It really depends on the size of your viewport. And the final thing I wanted to show was this stay on top. So you can make the rendered scene always stay on top of SketchUp or be the upfront item in your Mac or Windows environment. A look at soft shadows for point lights. Point lights are in most of the light fixtures from Podium Browser and are a common way to illuminate an interior. This soft shadow feature will soften the edge reflections of the point lights and is effective in making the point lighting look very natural. Let's go ahead and try this out on this model. There are several recessed lights as well as a large pendant and floor lamps with point lights. Open the panel or the light panel UI and you can see the soft shadow slider. This increases the radius of the point light producing a soft shadow edge effect. I will increase this to 10. You can see the light shadows on the wall went from hard edges to much softer 
natural looking edges. The floor lamp light shadows also became softer. Depth of field can produce images that blur the background behind the focus of attention. In this example, the ornate table and lamp are the focus. I want everything behind to be slightly blurred. I've also turned on soft shadows and adjusted other light parameters as you will see. Here's the depth of field user interface. It's accessed from the bottom right of the XRT screen. This feature does require a little experimenting to get a good image. The FOV default is what SketchUp FOV is, but you can adjust it. Turn Enable on. You will see the Aperture Radius slider and the Focus Distance slider. I will make the aperture radius to 100 millimeters as an experiment. You can see the entire screen is blurred. I will lower the aperture radius to 41. The focus length is how far from the camera you want things to be in focus. The unit says meters, but XRT will read whatever SketchUp unit you are using. So let me change the focus length to 4 and then eventually to 3.5. You can see this brings the ornate table and lamp into focus while the background is blurred. Panorama UI is located in the save an image icon. Open this and you can see the echo rectangular dimension settings. Whatever you put in the width setting will automatically be divided by two to create a 360 by 180 panorama. This will render an echo rectangular image that you can upload to a panorama HTML server such as panopdm.com. That concludes all the features of Podium XRT and you can see that this is a very productive tool and a fantastic companion product for Issue Podium and Podium Browser as it is a very fast and high quality visualization tool.